Good morning, Floss Tube. Happy Friday. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to Stitching by the Shore, my channel about mostly cross stitch. Every once in a while, we'll do something else, but today we are talking cross stitch. It is dreary and kind of rainy, so we have a little bit of glare, but it is the way it is. <laughs> I think I didn't think it was supposed to rain this early. I thought I'd be able to get a video in before the rain, but it's here. Um, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for pressing play and giving my channel a try. I hope you like what you see. Please press like, subscribe, leave comments, everything. Um, I love to hear from you. I love to interact with you. And I read and respond to every single comment. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and watching uh, yet another week and uh, following along on my stitchy journey. Uh, I'm so grateful for you and thank you so much for being here every week for me. It really means a lot. And that's about it. If you made it to the end of last week's video, <laughs> sorry for the abrupt ending. It was like I swallowed a hairball or a dust ball or something or other. I do have water to the side today if that happens, but <clears throat> see now I'm gonna it's gonna be the power of suggestion. But for whatever reason <laughs> and Meg's not here to help me edit videos, so we do it all in one go. So anyway, let's get started. Let's get started with works in progress with our whips, my whips. Um let's start Christmassy first, and you know my main Christmas one is my Christmas list, right? I think that's what it's called from Silver Creek Samplers. Lots of people have stitched it, are stitching it, lots of different variations. Mine is done on an 18 count sea glass from Bestitch Me from a distance. Then we come up close and let me show you my current. So I, it was funny, <laughs> the bed's not done yet. I had started over there and I kind of got tired of changing colors. So I said, you know what? I'm coming over here and doing words. And I think I did the clock last week too. So I, I feel like I got more accomplished that way. And I would do, I'd go back and do a strand or a color in the bed. Then I'd come back to words. I, it's funny. I really like stitching this one. Really, really like stitching this one. But I'm kind of near the end. And with the end in sight, I'm kind of ready for, <laughs> kind of ready for me to have finished it and to be done. I've got one, to three rows left, not counting once I finish the bed. So it's getting there, but it's it's definitely not gonna be done by this month. Um, so the goal is obviously to get it done sometime in November. And I mean, this is not even like a ridiculously big piece. I don't know how many of you watch Mandy, uh, Mandy Parker. She's stitching a heaven and earth design that is so close to being finished and is gorgeous. If you have not watched her, go watch it and see those eagles. And I could see where she'd be ready to be finished. I don't know if I should be complaining about it, but I am definitely ready to just get it done and say that it's complete, even though I still like it, but I'm definitely on that road. So we'll put in some more time this week with it and see what I can do. But it is definitely one of those that, I'm just gonna rearrange some of my stuff here, is definitely, it's definitely time. It's time for me to, move on to another one, but I want to get this one done first. So I am sticking with it. I am just grabbing my iPad so I can show you the picture of the next. There we go. Pattern. The next one I'm working on is Nantucket Trio by Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. And this is the set of three that I am making as one big piece. Julie here stitched them all as individuals, which I love their finishes. So what I did, you've, this one you've seen all along, I'm now currently on this one, and this one will be the end of the row, so the tree will be that end of that set of three houses. So that's how I chose to set them up. And I'm stitching this with Deborah, Sand and Ocean Girl, and our sal that we are using, the hashtag for the sal, <laughs> I'll get it, is Nantucket Trio Sal. I haven't put anything on Instagram in the last couple weeks. I'm the worst Instagrammer. If you follow me, you know that. I'll always say afterwards, oh, I should have taken a picture of that. And 
I'm a, oh, think of it later type of, of Instagrammer. So I don't, I don't get as many pictures on there as I, I would like to. But Nantucket Trio Sal, check out her work, my work, and anybody else, join in on it and hit that hashtag. Whether you're stitching one or all three, I'd love to see how you chose to do it. So this is, let me get it so that I can show you where we are at the moment. And that is where I am. So I focused obviously on the second house this week. In fact, I stitched on this yesterday. And I got a decent amount done. I had, I, this part here and the steps were done before I picked it up. I got most of the door done. And then I worked my way upwards, a couple of the window frames and the roof. I wanted to get the roof on and then everything could kind of work its way. Generally, I'm a start at the top left kind of stitcher and then I work my way down. And I was able to do that with this one. But obviously, because I'm connecting these houses with the fence, I don't know where the top is gonna be. So I have to start low and then work high. So that's what we have so far. I love it, love it, love it. I can't wait till all three houses are connected to see what they look like. And I think I'm using the DMC conversions most of the pat most of the floss in this is charted as DMC there are maybe one or two fancy flosses that are used um, in each pattern and but what Julie did was she gave a DMC combo to use uh, instead if you were just using DMC so that's what I'm doing and the combo is in the roof and in the house in this one I don't remember if the roof was a combo or not. I know the house was. So that's where that one is. This is done on an 18 count. If you are new, everything you see is 18 count Ada. This is being done on an 18 count Nantucket Sky. Look at that fabric. By Fabrics by Stephanie. And I have no idea how it's going to be finished, but I did mention last week that I do think I, and maybe it's the paper crafter in me, I would like to keep more sky, obviously not that much, just so that I can invoke a feeling of actually being in the place. Now this is Nantucket. I've told you before though, this reminds me so much of Newport. So I don't wanna say being in Newport when it's Nantucket Trio Sal, but uh, Nantucket Trio, Christmas at Nantucket Trio, I think is what it's called. But it's, my, it's forever be in my mind, my Newport piece. So that's that one. So those are the two Christmassy ones because that is Christmas. The doors have wreaths and it's got a, a holiday vibe to it. And then we go back to fall stitching, Halloween, that kind of stuff. Tiny Modernist, Halloween calendar. So this week I worked on finishing the, where are they? Potions, poisons. And I jumped my three days forward since I'm still working on this. Well, this is the last one in this fabric before I start a new fabric. Started on this day number 11. So the finish was this. I The only thing I didn't do, I haven't backstitched the word poison there. And we'll see. I don't know if this was charted for, it was stitched on 32 count. So I wanna see how the backstitch chart is for the words, how difficult it would be being on Ada. So that may or may not get words in it. I think it's fine if it doesn't. And then the start for day 11 is here. The moon is basically, he's the moon with the face. So that's him there. That's what I've started. Now this is on 18 count Midnight Tryst by Fabrics by Stephanie. So these are the four that I have been working on on this fabric. And then the next set of fabric that I will move to for the of the three that I'm using is a darker gray. So I may or may not finish this and then put this aside. There's no way it's getting done for Halloween this year. So this might be a put aside and pick it up again next year type of, of pattern. I like stitching on it, but 
I have so many different things I'd like to stitch on that I think that's where that one may go after this week. I just want to finish that and have that that day done. Maybe today after the video, because I never seem to have much stitching time on Fridays. So that might be a good piece just to finish on up and call it a day for that pattern for now. All right, back to the iPad. And let's see, oops, if I click that, that's how I can do it. I am, oh, I, I went to the site, but I did not click on, I was not on the ball. I didn't click on the actual pattern. So let me get that going. This is from Crochetta Gogo, and that is called Pumpkin Owl. I love stitching this. The pattern is so easy to stitch and to do. I thought, you know, my lofty goal was to finish the owl. I didn't do it, but I did. My come back to earth out, uh, goal was at least to get the sides of him done, and then I started to work my way down this way. So he's not too bad. I mean, it's he's got maybe about this much more to do, and then I can start working my way into the pumpkins. This is obviously part of the hashtag pumpkin birthday sal that I am hosting. This is done on an 18 count King's Gold from My Vintage Needle Arts. Look at that. Love those big eyes. He's so cute. Um, and I talked about the fabric last week. Uh, if you wanted to learn more about My Vintage Needle Arts, and I know that in the comments last week, somebody talked about how wonderful Teresa is to work with for customs. So it is somebody to think about if you're looking for somebody new or different. And that's that one. I definitely would like to finish the owl. That's, that's the goal. And then it'd be really nice to start on some of the pumpkin. So we'll, we'll I like him. He's cute. And I actually, he was good, um, just to kind of, because he had big stretches, once I did, I did all the white part of the little dots and then doing the le the wings was nice and easy because I could just stitch and watch, watch TV and just move along. That's that one. This one was a start last week, I believe. Yeah. Betsy's Autumn from Plum Street Samplers. I love, I've said this before, but I love these flowing branches of leaves. And it does have, it was, this was started for the pumpkin birthday sale because it has its little pile of pumpkins. This one is being done on 18 count honey amber by Fabrics by Stephanie and it would help if I actually held it the right way. <laughs> so there we go. I did a little bit more of the border. I had a doctor's appointment this week and you, you know, you sit in the car before they call you and I said, I brought this one because I said, I, border, the border stitching is perfect for that because it's the same. So I don't have to look at a pattern. I just have my two different colors and just do a whole stretch. So I did that in the car and then I was feeling inspired when I came home and I got a lot of, I got a lot of leaves completed and then started working on some of the branches, the flowing branches. So I'm not sure how many people stitched this back when this came out. If you did and you have it on your Instagram or, or you've posted pictures of it somewhere, I'd love to see your finish of it. So leave, leave me a message and let me know so I can check it out. Because this one, this pattern goes back to 2017. So it's been around a while. Obviously, I just found out about it recently or this year the end of last year this year I don't remember exactly it'd been sitting for a while in my in my pile and when I was ready for the fall stitching I had to do it so that's that one and those are all my works in progress I like I said I think Halloween calendar will get a tiny bit of work and then that will go to the side so that I can pick up either something that I have been working on or work a little bit more on what I've got. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna work it yet. I've got, you know, I've got some that I had to put aside that I really enjoy working on, but I like these too. It's it's such a dilemma. Oh, and by the way, it's, all, it's kind of folly because it's got leaves, but this is this week's fall sweater. Thank you so much for all the kind words about last week's fall sweater. 
How many of you have really short arms like me? I have to roll every single set of sleeves up, otherwise all of my sleeves are down by my knuckles and then trying to do anything. <laughs> the hands get in the way. But this is this week's fall sweater. I am, I count it a fall sweater. I don't generally wear it besides this time of the year. So technically it may not be, but that's what we're going with. And I had one new start and it was also a finish because it's a teeny tiny one. But I did, like I said, wanted to throw in some smalls so that I felt a little bit sense of, yay me, I got something finished in between all the bigger pieces, which I really like doing. I don't, this, this one was a digital pattern and um, I'm not gonna bother showing you the, uh, the black and white picture I have of it because you can see it done. Uh, this is from, this was new to me, Primrose Cottage Stitches. And I'll link, I'll link her down below because the site, I don't know if it started as a quilting site because she's got a lot of quilting stuff on there. And it might be Primrose Cottage Quilts. I have to look that up. And then for the, looks like she's making some cross stitch patterns. And that's where she's calling it, Primrose Cottage Stitches. And look at this little guy. Look at him. So cute. So it's All Hallows Leave, Leave, All Hallows Eve. It's a, it, there's three in, as I hold up two fingers, three, <laughs> three in the series. And I did this one first because it has pumpkins in it. So it fit my pumpkin birthday style. But uh, the other two, I'll show you in a minute, the other two, um, are super super cute as well and it would be a little bit bigger if you stitched in a little bit bigger but you know me I, I like I like the small I like the small and if I do some sort of little Halloween tree I would want the pieces to be a little bit smaller this is done on an 18 count shale from picture this plus and I had I had a stretch of it so I am gonna do all three on the same fabric in the, the website that shows these patterns, I think all three, my sweater keeps moving, I think all three are done on three different, this time I did get the three fingers up, three different fabrics. And I think that's, that's kind of cool too because you can see how they would look stitched on different things. So the second one in the three is just called Trick or Treat. And that's it up close. It's charted in DMCs, not a lot. And all three patterns use the base same DMCs plus maybe one or two might be different for each pattern. And this one is called Eek Boo Shriek. So all three of them will be done on this. Oh yeah, see this one she finished more as maybe more of an ornament. And then this one, I don't remember what the first one was finished as. This one is kind of like a little pin cushiony, the little pin cushion. Um, I don't know what the what the, the All Hallows Leave Eve was stitched as. Let me see if I have a picture of it so I can show you. Just a flat, it looks like. But I like this one. I love it. So cute. Very easy to stitch. Very easy to follow the patterns. I will link if you are interested. She has three of these. She has one Christmas one, which I did pick up as well. And then she just put out another Halloween, which a little bit of a longer piece, which I think I'm going to pick up. And I may or may not start as part of, I think there's pumpkins in it. So I may or may not start this month. And it looks like it would be a pretty quick stitch. So it might be able to be one that I could get done. And then once October is over, I'd still focus on some of the fall stitching but not really Halloween anymore at that point. So that is my stitching. I feel like I got a lot accomplished this week. Plans are to continue the pumpkin birthday sale. I have one, two that I just need to pick a fabric for because you know how I am about checking the fabrics. I wait till the last minute and, and do it then. But And then I have potentially the one that I was talking about of Primrose Cottage Stitches that I might want to pick up as well. So that's my plans. Thank you so much for everybody who has been tagging Instagram with their pictures. I love it. I think I'll post, I haven't posted in a while because again, I am the world's worst Instagram poster, but I think I'll post this one under that uh, as one of my new uh, part finishes. And uh, I have a list of floss tubers who are 
participating as well and showing their stuff and I will continue to leave that down below so you can check them out and just check out the hashtag pumpkin birthday south. I know you know all know by now you can follow hashtags so that's a great way if there is something that you really like um, whatever it is or a, ha or a sal that you are participating in it's a way to see what everybody else is doing especially if it's this one is kind of cool because in my humble opinion because you get to see a whole range of things when everybody is stitching one what's kind of neat about it, that idea is you could see the different variations that people may do of the same pattern because there's a thousand different ways people can stitch things so that's also great to follow too so sometimes i'll do that if i want to get some ideas or just see how things were done differently. It's just fun to see. So anyway, that's the hashtag. Join, post pictures. If you tag me, I definitely know I'll get it. Sometimes I don't always um, go and check Instagram as regularly. Uh, so what I'll do is I will go to the hashtag specifically and scroll through. So if I missed anybody, uh, I usually try to find you because I'm really interested in what you're doing um, but if I get tagged I also get a notice on my phone and I'm, then I'm like oh I better go to Instagram <laughs> so <laughs> that's the other option but um, yeah so that's plans um, I don't have long-term stitchy types of plans uh, except for one thing which I'm going to show you uh, that I'm going to start come November I'm going to try something new but uh, I'm still kind of up in the air. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wing it after October. I had things set so well, so much that uh, I might just say, mm, what do I feel like doing? And go from there. There's so many good patterns that keep coming out that, you know, you set, you set these plans and they're like, oh, but I really want to stitch that and I want to stitch it now. So that's always open for interpretation. I am not doing any sort of no new starts for 2021. I am here for just getting getting things started and doing it whenever so um, I don't have to worry about a bunch of starts now I just happen to like starting them um, and then I'll just keep going come 2021 <laughs> so I have um, oh no before I talk about what I've gotten I do want to do my small business highlight so last week Barely Stitches was my highlight for my Connecticut crafter. And this week I am highlighting Suzanne Urban, Suzanne Urban Art. And let me find her on Etsy. Let me go this way. So her Etsy shop, oh, I guess I'll go this way. Her Etsy shop is called Smirking Godness. Ooh, let me go with the pictures. That was a lot of white. There we go. Suzanne is an artist out of Windsor, Connecticut, which is a very cool town. Uh, it is, would be north of me. It's fairly close to Massachusetts at that point. And, well, yeah, sort of, yeah. I'm no good with distances. <laughs> Suzanne was an illustrator and she is a published gag writer. So a lot of her work is um, a little bit edgy, a little bit, um, parody, parody ish, a little bit um, funny, um, and that kind of it, just clever is the best way I can put it for a lot of these different things. And she does, and she has done, she has a huge batch of fridge magnets. She also does mugs, and I'm looking at her Etsy shop here. She's got some gift tag options, some card options, pin backs. Um, she does some Zodiac stuff, but she recently jumped into needle minders as well. And she, she's recently put on some needle minders on Etsy. I like the one that says, I started to cross stitch this when phones had dials, <laughs> which is literally true for the very first piece I finished when I came back to cross stitch. Phones did have dials <laughs> back when I was stitching it. <laughs> but so that's a, that's a set that those are some of the newest that she has put in there but she is a seasoned artisan and has quite a bit to offer i will link her down below so that you get a chance to look at her items and check her out and i think she might she might even do i shouldn't say things i 
don't know, but I thought I saw an option. Maybe not. Oh, personalize. So she does have an option to personalize things as well. So um, lots of great things to check out. She's She's got 400 items in her Etsy shop and uh, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> so check her out and, and give her some give her some love. But uh, that's my Connecticut crafter for this week. Um, and next week I have another one picked out for you. So I hope you like getting a chance to see some different different crafters out there, especially as we we really try to help the small businesses in our communities and our states and our country as they just navigate 2020. All right. So I have, see, I have little notes. That was Suzanne's note. So now I have my next set of notes here. I got my very first um, product kind of gift sent to me. I was contacted by Shirley. Shirley is the owner of Jubilance Lane. Shirley has both a website and an Etsy shop, which I will link down below. And she is starting to carry um, a new company of kits that she asked me if I would be interested in trying some out and letting you guys know what I thought about them. I said, sure. Now these are all in, oh, this one's in plastic. The other two are not plastic. So this one's gonna have a glare and I'm so sorry. So she said, go to my website and pick something out. And I decided to try something a little bit different. This is actually an embroidery kit. So it's a little bit different than cross stitch, but I said, you know what? I wanna expand my horizons a little bit. So this is the embroidery kit. It is a bird. Yellow bird is the actual name of it. And when I went to the site with these kits, she has a whole a whole different set of options, but the bird just called to me and I just said, I really wanna try. So I've never done embroidery before. If you have any um, guidance, suggestions, things I should remember as I'm doing it, it does come with Actually, there's a needle, it comes with the hoop, and it comes with, is it called floss? Is it still floss when you do embroidery? It comes with the threads, I'll say that, and obviously a pattern. A pattern on, ooh, it's a little bit smaller, but you know what, it, didn't, it doesn't matter, right, for embroidery, um, on fabric. So I'm so excited to give this a try. <laughs> I think these kits are also, um, Slated as like good uh, younger crafter items. So <laughs> hopefully I can figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's the first one and I'm super excited. This is what I'd like to try to start in November just to give myself just like a little new, new adventure to try. Although this is also a fun thing that I might decide to try in November. These are, these are also little kits that I um, asked her to send. And these are, it's a little kit for a little um, zipper pouch. And you get everything needed for it. Now, Shirley sent me two. So guess what? In November, you are gonna get a chance to win one of these. Because one of these she sent as a giveaway for you all. So one of them is a flower and one is a hedgehog. When we get to the giveaway in November, I'm not sure if it'll be the first or second weekend in November, week in November for videos. When we get to the giveaway in November, whoever wins, you'll get to choose. I like them both, so I would do whichever one, but you would get first choice as to which one you would like me to send to you. And again, I don't wanna open it up because it's all packed up, but it looks like everything you need is included. So thank you, Shirley. I am so excited to be able to share these with everybody. And I will link both Shirley's website and Etsy shop down below. So if you'd like to check things out and see what she has, she has cross stitch, she has embroidery. I meant to look at her website one more time this morning and I forgot. So that I could give you a better, a better overview. But check it out, see what she's got. I, was, I really enjoyed looking through what she had. So that is my first bit of shopping but it wasn't shopping it was a gift to me um very nicely sent thank you Shirley 
Then I got my one, two, three stitch order in. I had waited, a, I had waited quite a, a while for it, but that's all right. It wasn't like there was anything in there that was super pressing, so that's okay. I had gotten, <laughs> poor uh, Bells of Ireland had been put to the side, so I did get the beads for it, but okay, I'm not even done anywhere near done with the stitching, so I'm nowhere near ready for the beads. I did pick up needles. I don't know if there was, it said beading needle, needles, so I'm assuming it's the right thing. Um, again, I'm still learning all of this. So I did get those. I picked up a few more swatches of some fabric, just fat quarters. I thought this one was pretty. I like that color. And then just a lot of them are just more solids. So I picked those up. I did get a couple charts. This little guy, every time I would look at him, he was just so cute. So I picked up Wee Santa. 2020 from Heart and Hand. I love his pants. <laughs> so that, um, oh, we think the 2019 looks very cute. It's on the back. <sighs> I get very distracted. And then this one by M Manny Dodonna. Happy fall. Pumpkins. I liked the blue pumpkin. That was what drew me. I love that. So I did pick up those two patterns. And then I picked up you know I'm trying to make just a little travel kit for myself to have in the car so that I'm not without a needle and or scissors again because that's happened to me multiple times. And the scissors I have, none of the, I, I just have some ones from Michaels, nothing, nothing fancy. Um, none of the scissors I have fit. So this one's not fancy either, but it's it does fit. I did check it out. It's just a cute little scissor so that's gonna go when I have it all decorated I'll show you and then I this one's bigger I don't actually know it might fit too I said I didn't know if I wanted this one or a little bit fancier so I did get kind of one of these stork scissors thought he was cute so I did pick that up as well too so we'll see one of those will end up staying in the car so maybe I don't know we'll see which one I do and then I did pick up a couple of fabrics, not small, small pieces. I stitched my la my 2020 Prairie Schooler Santa on Jade, and I have a few more of those. So I thought, and I really liked how he looked on the Jade. So I picked up some more of this. I can I can get two Santas on this. So I picked up a small piece of the Jade, and then I wanted to give this color a try. And this is called Mystic. These are both 18 counts. I thought that was pretty. I have no idea what I'll use it for, but I picked that up as well. And then I did get my Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month from September. Most of you have probably seen it because this came in Friday's mail. <laughs> always, always things come in Friday afternoon's mail after I've done my videos. So I get the Any Color option, and this month it was called Monster Mash. How pretty is that purple? I really, really love it. That was a contender for All Hollows, but I ended up going with the shale because I threw the floss on there and it just, it just drew me to that. But I have several patterns that I really thought about using this for already. So that's really pretty. Monster Mash. I don't know, does Color and Cotton, when they do their Fabric of the Months, are those just one-offs or do they become part of the websites? I don't know, that I don't know. Like Brandy with Bestitch Me a lot of times may create a color and it's not in the website or Misty from Mystic Fabrics does this too. And then they end up after the fabric of the month at some point when all that's been sent out, they end up putting it on the website. I don't know how Color and Cotton does it. I'm too new, but that is, that's it. That's it for shopping. So we have a giveaway winner to pick um, I loved hearing about your favorite songs last week. I am, and I have to admit, I am an 80s girl through and through. My entire teenage years, all of them were spent during the 80s. I know that may say something about me, <laughs> but that would be my first go-to. But there's so, I love music and I love listening to different types and of music and I've been exposed to different types of music depending on where I may live or do or be um, so that's certainly not my only um, so I loved hearing your your um, choices and it, it 
reminded me like, yeah, I like listening to that. And, and brought back some, some ideas of like, oh, I really want to throw that on the radio now and try listening to that. So thank you for participating. And the winner of the Autumn Harvest Mill Hill Beads Kit is Ruth Townsend. So Ruth, if you could please send me your address, either, um, either Instagram if you want to, or if you look it down below, um, you will see my Gmail address. If you could just send me your address to that Gmail address, I will get this out to you. It'll probably, it's a little bulky, so I think what I'll do is it'll be in a bubble envelope for you just to kind of keep it a little bit safer. And I usually try to hit the post office once or twice per week um, to send out orders. And so your, your giveaway would go with one of those. If you get back to me, uh, when you get back to me, my post office, they changed the boxes outside. So you can't put, I used to be able to put smaller packages in the box. So I wouldn't have to go inside, especially now. Um, but they got rid of that. So I have to go inside to the, the main part of the post office and so on and so forth. So I kind of condense my trips to the post office now to either once or twice a week. So things don't get sent out every day like they used to be, but it'll, it'll be in a timely fashion. So Ruth, if you could get back to me, I'd love to send that to you. All right. I do have a giveaway this week. Cause you know, I, I planned out this whole month for everything pumpkin themed this, this time the theme is color and we're going with, we're going bright. We're going bright. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's all right, bold, we're being bold. And this is actually a sponsored giveaway. I had looked at fabric from this shop and I had asked them, I, I, you know, I wanted, I wanted not to just, I couldn't decide with fabric if I wanted an Ada or an even weave. And I had asked them if they had had this pumpkin color in the other as well and they hadn't, or they said they hadn't. And I had just placed an order, fine, no problem. I'd figure something out. And when they sent me what I had ordered, they had sent me several items to give away. Cause I had said, oh, I'm ordering this for a giveaway. And I always, I, you know, I don't expect um, companies to just send me stuff. I mean, they're a business. And, you know, so I just, I bought what I was gonna give away, but then they very nicely sent me a bunch of other things. So I am gonna have two giveaways for this. One is gonna be Ada, and one is going to be, I think it's even weave. I can show you what the back of the fabric looks like, so um, maybe you can tell me. But um, pretty much what'll happen is I'll ask a question, and then if you want Ada, you're gonna put number one. If you want the even weave, you can put number two. If you'd like to put your name in for both, feel free. Um, you can only win one of them, but you certainly can um, put your name in for both. And I will give away both types. So let's start with the Ada. These are all 14 count. And this company is a fabric flare. So the fronts are printed, the backs are white, just to give you um, a heads up on that. But what you see on the picture is always what you'll get because it's printed so you don't have to worry about it the the different variations that dyeing um, can give you and so I don't forget where's my little note so I give them exact credit it is Dove Stitch so Dove Stitch is our giveaway sponsor this week and they have a web store and an Etsy shop so I will link them down below so if you want to check out all of the different variations. They have ones that are like a printed hand dyed look and then some just solids. And I have not tried any of the solids. I did order some of the printed hand dyed ones when I did place an order, but I was doing this for pumpkin. So the very first one, there's three in the Ada package that you would win. This is a 14 count and it's called pumpkin. And it's, it's, it's probably showing a little bit redder on camera. But it's, it's bright enough, but it's fun. It's a really fun um, piece. Then I didn't know that they would be sending, I don't know what this is called because there's nothing on the, um, there's no labels on these. And you'll see in the back it's white. 
So it's definitely a printed. So this would be the second one. And then, so we have this and we have this. And then they sent, they also do printed fabrics as well. Like not print, they're all printed, but patterned, that's it. Um, they do variations of patterns and so on and so forth, not just straight colors. And so they sent a bat fabric. So if you'd like to enter for the Ada giveaway, these are the three that will come to you in a package. And it all started because I wanted to try, some, try to find you something pumpkin. So that's the first, that would be number one, is if you're looking for the Ada. Now, you know me, because I'm still an Ada girl, I'm calling this even weave. I don't know, I don't know if it'll show up close enough. That's what the back looks like on this one. I don't know if that's even weave or linen. I did count because for you guys special and woo, I've decided that there's no way I can stitch on anything this small. I had to lift the glasses and look very close, but it was counted as a 28. There was 28 holes that I could see per, um, per inch. So it must be a 28 count. So that, look at that, how pretty is that? That is the first one that they sent in the higher count. And the second one, and I'm pretty sure this is also 28. Um, again, we've got the back. Oh, that's cool. In the back, it looks, you can see the web pattern with a white. And then in the front, it's a web pattern with the color. So these, I'm calling them even weave. It's going to be a surprise. But these two will be in the second giveaway package and that would be number two so the question i want to know is besides stitching because i always talk about mm, this is going to be a, a channel about cross stitch and then every once in a while something else but i haven't been doing any of the other stuff what other hobbies do you do what else do you do and it doesn't have to be needle related you know there can be other things that you because you know me for example i, I stamp and i i scrapbook um so what do you do what other hobbies do you do and I would even like reading. I think of that as a hobby, um, something to do enjoy wise. So I, I wanna know, in my getting to know you questions, that's what my giveaways are, are veiled ways for me to get to know you all. But answer the question, besides stitching, what other hobbies do you have? And you know, everybody's free to, to answer because I love getting the responses. And then if you want me to put your name in for the giveaway, then you put number one, for the Adas, or number two, for what I'm gonna call the even leaves. And I will pick winners next week. So that is, thank you so much to Dove Stitch. That was really totally unexpected. I opened up the package and said, wow, there's a lot more here than I ordered. So that was very, very nice of them to give me some things that I could give away to you guys. Um, so I will link them down below so you have a chance to check them out if you'd like to as well. And that's about, that's that's it. And I'm making it through without a complete coughing fit like, like last time. Uh, this weekend, Connor and Mo are driving to New Jersey for a school college visit. Um, during COVID, most colleges are asking that only one parent go for the visits. And Mo is better at finding places and doing all that stuff. So he's the one that gets to go. And they'll you know maybe send me some pictures and so on and so forth, but uh, that's that, that'll that be their trip for Sunday. So Shamrock and I, maybe we'll do a little bit of stitching and hanging out, and I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like this weekend, not sure. Um, that's, that's, that's the big thing for the weekend. We are still on board with the house. I think they're getting ready to have it, have its final inspection, make sure that there's nothing majorly wrong, that we can actually live in it when we're there. So it's getting close. It's getting close to where I will be able to show you some pictures. And although it may not have furniture in some of the rooms for quite some time. <laughs> oh, well. I guess you just can't have everything. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much that it with that. Um, next Friday is my birthday. Super excited. Uh, this is my last week of being 50. I will be 51 next Friday. So super excited. I don't care if you know how old I am. I mean, you can figure it out. I mean, I almost wore it. The, the other sweater I almost wore is actually older than my marriage. So <laughs> I think I've had it for probably oh, 30 years. 
<laughs> so that would have told you too. Well, I had told you I'd been 30 years between stitching. So you would have had an idea how old I was anyway. But anyway, so next week is my birthday. No idea what we're doing to celebrate. <sighs> I think I know what we want to do. I think we're going to make dinner as opposed to getting some takeout. But I have a fun plan. So I'll let you know. I'll let you know next week what's happening with that. That's about it. I hope you are well. I hope you are staying safe. Please, please, please keep yourself and everyone else around you safe because I want to keep talking to you and I, I, want, I want you to be healthy and I want you to be well. So please, for, uh, for my peace of mind, please be, please be safe. And other than that, my stitchy friends, until next time, happy stitching.